Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the added cross section in synchronous modeling. So let's start. The command will be in under the modeling environment, then go to home, then just go to the synchronous modeling group and here click on more, then just go to move title under the title of move, you will get the added cross section. Now let's read the definition for once. It is going to say that intersects a face set and a plane and then modifies the model by modifying section curves. So let's simplify this. First term they have used is intersets. That means there should be the intersection of the face sets. Face sets means you can choose one or more than one face at a time. And then that face or face sets are going to be get intersect with a plane then you can modify that model by using the cross curve which is going to be get produced or generated by the intersection of face sets and plane. So let me show you the demonstration for once like that what do you mean by the section curves. So if I just create a section here. So the curve which you're currently seeing in the graphics window is said to be as the section curve. Let me just click on OK for once and just go to the navigator and then just activate this section curve. Now this curve is said to be as the section curve and we are able to add it this cross section curve using the command of added cross section. So I hope I'm clear with the intention of the command. Now let's start. So I'm just going to unclip this. Now I'm just go to home. Now let's start with the very basic one and then we are going to increase the level by covering the basic. Then we are just going to cover the intermediate then the advanced part. Now let's go to more. Then here just go to edit cross section. Now the very first thing is that we have to select the face. So I'm just going to select the face which is this one because I want to add it this face and in this direction I want to add it okay so basically in the x direction so I'm just going to click on this now they are now the command is asking for the plane so I'm just going to have a plane here now you can see here two lines one is this and one is this let me just show you and once you get a section curve here you have to click on this icon which says as section so I'm just going to click on this and now I can increase or decrease the height okay so I'm just going to give it like this I'm just giving a rough representation for this I'm not going into the dimension thing so I'm just going to increase it a little further now you can see the change so I'm just going to click on okay now Earlier, it was like this. If I just do undo, and now it is this. So, this is how we can use the added cross section at a very basic level. So, basically, why do we use it? If you want to make changes to a model in which there is no history, so in that case, we use the add cross section for our convenience or for our speed in our modeling skills. So I'm just going to delete this. Now in case you want to edit this face. So I'm just going to again use the edit cross section and just and then just go to select this face and the plane here. So again I'm just going to choose this plane. Now you can see a line here. Similarly a line is going to get produced here. So I'm just going to again click on section. Now I can increase or decrease the diameter along with that I can also change the angle like you can see here there is some angle now we are just going to use a dimension here. So basically I'm just going to have the angular dimension here just close this angular this one and this one. So currently the angle is near about 4.8 I'm just going to make it as 5. After giving the angle as 5, I'm just going to change this 
dimension. So the second is going to be this. I'm going to give it as 25. 525. Suppose if this is the requirement of the customer. So I'm just going to finish this. Now click on OK. So now you can see how quickly we have changed that dimension. If I just do undo. So it was like this. And now it is like this. Now we have covered both the things. The basic and the intermediate. Now we are just going to have the advanced thing. Suppose if I want to edit the entire of the cross section in case if there is some need to edit that. So for that how we can do that. So just go to edit cross section and here in face I am just going to select all the faces. So I am just going to do this. Now I am in need of selection of plane. So I am just going to select this plane. Now we have the section like this. Now let me just show you one thing before we're just going to show you that section curve. In settings, make sure you have turned on the interior features. If this is turned off, then it will be like this. You can see nothing is coming up in this section. And if I just activate the include interior features and then again go to section, then it will include all the interior features. So make sure to activate the include interior features in added cross section. Now, here you can see that uh, we have some curves here, some tiny curves here. So it is all up to you now what dimension you want to add it. So basically, I'm just going to edit this dimension. So just go to dimensions and here I'm just going to give it as input. Then I'm just going to edit this. This is 22.9. So make it as uh, 40. Just try. So this is going to disturb the entire topology. So I'm just going to give it as uh, 35 or 30. Now 30 seems to be good. I'm just going to keep it as 30 and here just go to task then go to sketch setting and fix text height on screen just to highlight the dimensions properly in the sketch environment. Now I'm just going to reduce this this one. So this one is basically 18 so I'm just going to keep it as uh, 15. And along with that I'm just going to increase this diameter this one. So this is going to be 32 and that is enough for now and along with that I am just going to finish this and then click on OK. Now in some cases you may have the confusion that if I am just going to add the cross section and the command is not going to apply with the changes you want to make to the model okay so in that case the software will automatically give you an error while editing the cross section curve that there are some problem with the curve or the faces are not going to intersect so you need not to worry about that that I'm just going to uh, apply this command let me just show you through the demonstration so I'm just going to select all the faces again and uh, select the plane now just going to edit the cross section now in this case i'm just going to have the rough movement like this now you can see geometry needs to accommodate the change cannot be added so now you know that uh, i cannot finish this uh, editing why so because i am getting an alert here so we need to fix the section curve first then we are able to click on finish so that is what I was talking about that Navo leave the sketch environment without removing any alert if you are getting an alert just uh, focus on that curve and then you can just click on finish and start applying the command otherwise you will get an error okay so 
that is all regarding the edit cross section we have covered all the three modes basic intermediate and advanced if you have learned something new from this video please do hit a like share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much